Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morphs. Today we are going to be looking at some of the big girls uh, that are looking close to laying. And I was cleaning this morning and I found that fire, the fire girl, who we put the Desert Ghost Enchi uh, to, was on her side looking quite uncomfortable, meaning that she's probably about to lay some eggs. So I'm going to just show you a peep, peep of her and then we're gonna go and have a look at some of our breeding couples. And we've got three new move up babies that have gone up to the adult racks. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And maybe do a few spotlights under the uh, light box. So let's have a look at this fire girl and let's see what she's up to. So her name is Flame. She gave us a nice clutch last year of five beautiful eggs. And there you can see the eggs shaping up now and she was literally feeling quite uncomfortable as I came in she was uh, showing signs of laying some eggs so we're hoping that she'll give us some eggs pretty soon you can see the bulges in her body and uh, hoping to be able to get some Henchy Fire 100% Het Desert Ghosts and you can just see this look at the depth on her tail how thick it is we believe that she's carrying quite a few eggs so hopefully in the next few days we might see some more eggs from her and Jared was saying that when yesterday when we were cleaning we saw Phoenix give us those eight eggs she um, she was in a very uncomfortable position a day or two earlier so it's interesting when you see that position you can see now there she is there she is so she's looking fine and let's have a look at Cleo the spider girl yeah she's starting to expand and looking good cappuccino let's see how she's doing massa fatty and again she's looking really really good so there's quite a few things going on here and uh, we've put uh, the purple passion and titus together i've had one lock and look at that. see how she's stimulating with her tail look that just catching the early stages i've only just put them together but there you go you can see some tail wagging and that's to stimulate the boy to lock to her. So I think that's part of the courtship. See the wagging? It's quite nice to capture that. Tail wagging, let's see if she'll do any more. I believe them to do their courtship. But I think they're very compatible. And the other one that was tail wagging today was I put another pair together, which was the, um, uh, where are we? Where are we? Let's have a look. Yeah, it was um, the Orange Ghost double heads we put together and the female was getting very excited when I put the male in there. And uh, she was wagging her tail and I was thinking, trying to encourage the boy on. I'll have a little peek and see whether they've locked. But let's just have a little look and see what is going on there. He's not showing an interest. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> but she was wagging her tail inviting him on. I don't think he's quite ready yet, but we'll leave him and see what happens. But the actual activity was very interesting. And we've put Alpha, the Super Pastel Ivory, to Electra. See whether they're doing anything. Again, quite the early days. There they are, he's just sitting comfortably at the back. <laughs> so, not a lot going on there, but really just put them together. Bowels of the Dream School, I've put to the Pastel. 100% head pied. Let's have a look and see what's going on there. Tail to tailing it, yeah? so that's a good encouraging sign. We'll leave them to get on. And Sienna's looking big. See what she's doing. Really building nicely for us. So she's 100% head pied and she's a sea cinema. Proven breeder, a panda. Our panda's getting very big. She's our bamboo girl. Let's have a quick look and see how she's doing. So I cleaned her out today, gave her some nice clean dry bedding. And I don't think it'd be long before she gives us a clutch. So that's all looking really good. Penelope, our pinstripe's going into shed. Now whether this is a prelay shed, I'm hoping it is, because she's quite bulky up there. I'll just show you how she's looking. And there she is, really, really, Packing on some good weight there, and that could be her prelay shed coming. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, that is the case. So, there we go on that side. 
Um, check the eggs. I've put the uh, temperature in there, holding nicely at 90 degrees. So they're the ones we put in yesterday. That's our Cine Pied project. So they were looking good. Got the light box ready to go. So all we need to do now is just show you which ones we've moved up. So we've you're seeing more spaces on the hatchling racks because obviously when these eggs hatch we need spaces for them to go into. So I've been moving some of the sub-adults up to the adult racks. And the ones that I've moved up, just show you what we've got, is first one is Wizzy, who's the male yellow belly pied or pumpkin pied. So he's got his little hide. Let's have a look at him. There he is. Beautiful animal. And we'll weigh him and we'll just do a quick feature in the light box, see how he's looking. See if he'll let us do that. He's a beautiful animal. Come on, fella. So we've got another beautiful stud now for our breeding pairs for next year. Let's just have a look and see how he looks. Beautiful. There we go. Pumpkin pies holding his colour lovely. And I'm guessing he's over 700 now, so ready to go up and looking really really special really beautiful so pleased with him lovely temperament as well you can see the beautiful jagged yellow belly effect on the pixels love the black markings on the saddles lovely contrast with the whites the oranges the golds the yellows and those beautiful brown tones as well just an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous snake and you've got those lovely white V's coming up. An absolutely stunning, stunning animal. And a uh, beautiful part of our breeding projects going forward. So we can put the yellow belly pied to some other pines if we want to. We can produce um, some wonderful creations with him. Plugging him into some of our het pied girls as well. And uh, looking really beautiful. So a nice, nice temperament. We'll weigh him now and see how much he weighs. He's enjoying his little exploration. An absolutely beautiful animal. See, that's last year's baby. He's about a year old now, just coming up for, actually, no, he was born, I think, in June. So he's about 10 months. So in 10 months, let's see what he weighs. Come in, Wizzy. <laughs> let's just put you on the scales. So we've got the scales over here. Let's just zero those out. Make sure they're zero. I'm guessing he's about 700, maybe a little bit more. So he's coming in at 8.30. A lot bigger than I expected. It's 830, so he's ready to go as far as breedability is concerned. So we'll just put him back into his home. Probably won't use him until September, but another beautiful male. And you can see the lovely patterns on the belly there. I'm just gonna show you his underbelly, how beautiful that is and he just wants to explore and play, come and stay with us. Beautiful animal. Right, let's put him back in to his home. He likes his new home, space to grow now. So Jazz done a wonderful job bringing him on, feeding him regularly every week. And there's your little hide. And there's your bigger water bowl. And there we have, that's Wizzy, and he's a yellow belly male pied. So the next one that we've brought up was, I'm just trying to think, yes, another male, Thor. Yeah, I've brought him up as well. He's our VPI Lightning Pied. Let's have a little look and see how he's settling in. And we'll put him under the spotlight and weigh him as well. So two males that have come up to size. And there he is. He looks beautiful. Let's just see if we can put them under the light box. See again, his lovely colours. Why well, we can weigh him first. See how much he weighs. He's coming in at 707 grams, which is good size. And then let's have a little look under the light box. See how he's looking. Beautiful. There he is. How about that? Look at that lovely deep black head stamp with those lovely grey and white stripes down the side which I think are absolutely beautiful. And 
you can see the lovely patterns in him. So lightning pied they're called. So it's VPI exantic pied. He's a low white, you can just see the low white on him. So a lot of pattern there. We can start plugging him in and creating some double hets, possibly triple hets if we put them into some of the other recessive genes. And he's looking very, very beautiful. There we go. Just exploring his territory. See some of the patterns on him. Let's zoom in on that. Lovely, you can see that lovely head pattern. And then you can see those lovely shades of greys, blacks, and whites. The exantic look. And looking beautiful, white underbelly. And then he's got those gorgeous looking patterns on his body, which the pied helps to give. And he's coming all the way to see us. There he is. I think he wants to come out now, so we'll put him back into his new home. So there's Thor, and he's going to prove to be a very useful breeding boy going forwards. And we're still working on his wife, who's a bit slower, but she's uh, starting to show signs of building. And uh, we'll just slip him back into his new home. Thank you, Thor. Let's put you back into your home. Thank you for coming out with us. Second male we've moved up, leaving to settle into his new space. And then we've got one other girl that I've brought up, and I'm just trying to remember where, where I put her now. So I think we've got down here Bella, it's the other one. Now she's doing really, really well. She's our leopard pastel orange dream yellow belly 100% head clown that I've decided to move her up because she's doing so well. Let's have a look at her home. So she's under our hide at the moment. Let's have a wee look at her. There she is. Really beautiful. So we bought her in at 150 grams. And I think she's getting close now to 700 grams. And she's ready for bigger space. And we'll probably start giving her, um, as she gets a little bit bigger, we'll start to give her bigger food items, prey items. But why don't we just weigh her? Well, actually, if we put her in the spotlight first, then we'll weigh her. While she's in a nice little bundle. She does like to play and come out. So while she's in a bundle, let's put her in the light box. There she is. Oh, beautiful. And then she likes to explore straight away. No messing about. Well, there we go. Lovely patterns. I love the chaining, the hooking, the contrast between the black, the golds, the yellows and you can see the implications that we've got there, the influence of the yellow belly in there as well. Just a stunning, stunning animal. Uh, I know looking forward to bringing her into the breeding program. And uh, she's having a little exploration. Let's see if we can, oh, she's going under the, <laughs> she's going under the uh, flooring there. So we'll just see if we can, there we go. Yeah, she's quite an explorer. Come on, my darling, let's weigh you now and see how much you weigh. Just have to zero the scales. So we zeroed those. Let's see how much she weighs. You're going to stay in? 700 and, she's 730, so she's doing really well. You are a little character, aren't you? Isn't you? Beautiful. Come and say hello to the camera. And hello to me. She wants to explore. Right, let's put her back into her home. There you go, girl. You do want to play, don't you? You definitely want to come and play. So there's your hide back. Come on, sweetie. You really want to explore. There we go. She's lovely. Right, we'll leave her in peace. So there's the three move-ups. And that's, like you say, giving us some space so we can have more space for the hatchings coming. And I uh, thought I'd just give you that quick update. I hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. So thank you very much for um, all your positive comments on the second clutch yesterday. 
I know a lot of people have enjoyed that one. They like to see how we do things here at New Frost Morphs. Of course, the other thing we've done is we've set up some more egg boxes because as these eggs come, we don't want to be making up egg boxes. So in the other incubator, we've got some more boxes already made up, ready to go. And uh, hopefully we'll get some of these girls will start to give us more clutches and it will get an exciting part of the season now. So hopefully everyone else is having a good season as well. So thank you very much for supporting us and we shall catch you next time. Bye bye for now.